Hey guys, how are you? I'm a state certified instructor and I'm talking about driving in a rush hour traffic. Let's go ahead and get it. I got a school bus in front of me, police situation to the left. Try not to steer it either. You'll end up rear-ending someone. Ask me how I know. That police officer usually sits in the middle up here and people come flying, going west on this road. No, they haven't got me. So I'm maintaining good speed right now. I'm looking ahead, taking my time. And uh, this uh, little connector is very dangerous because people will come off this curve and pull out in front of you, just like that truck. So I'm looking ahead, anticipating, and I need to get over one lane to the right. So you're gonna see me look over my shoulder. I'm gonna show you. So I'm holding the wheel. You're gonna see me look around this ramp with my eyes. So I'm looking around the ramp and you're gonna see me just turning the wheel, right? And I'm looking down and around the ramp and I'm gonna show you the so I'm looking down and around this ramp and I'm looking at traffic and I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna yield and look at traffic. That's where there's a yield sign here. So I look over my shoulder and then I do have to get over one lane to the left. So I have to look, check my mirror and blind spot. I get out to the first lane. That's where So I'm looking ahead. Everything is about vision with your eyes. So I'm scanning, being safe. The right lane is the slowest lane. So I'm taking my time looking ahead, being smooth, and just kind of settling down. It takes about five or 10 minutes to settle down uh, for anyone, particularly new drivers, because you have so much anxiety, so much stress. There's a lot going on, cars stopping, not using blinkers, uh, cutting you off, tailgating you. So you need to really kind of have a chill spot and relax. So I'm trying to stay smooth, just trying to calm myself down and just being patient with everything that I see. The speed limit here is 45 miles an hour. I'm right at 45. I'm looking ahead, keeping my space, and taking my time. I'm gonna switch views again. Um, you're gonna see me checking my rear mirror. When you come up to a stop, your road tester, your instructor wants to see you check that mirror. You're gonna see me look to the left. You're gonna see me look to the right. And I'm just going with the flow, being safe, being smooth, and just taking my time. I'm gonna switch views again. I'm at the intersection. I'm scanning left, middle, right. I'm watching for cars. I'm being patient. Everyone is moving right at the speed limit. This is really nice, but now you're gonna see people like that gray journey. They're starting to rapidly accelerate. Oftentimes people change their behavior. That's the police. So they're going to change behaviors, drive at the speed limit, put on seat belts, not drive aggressive. I'm taking my time, keeping my space, looking ahead, always looking around. You're going to see trucks and cars change lanes rapidly. You'll be able to see the car in my blind spot to my left. You should be able to see out of my back window. I got both hands on the wheel, so I'm safe able to provide you with good information, best practice. Um, at 50 miles an hour, that's the speed limit. It feels good to drive the speed limit. You feel safe, uh, you can relax, and that does take time. You're always anticipating someone stopping really fast or cutting you off. So you have to be aware, like that car with the light out. We don't know, are they turning? Are they stopping? I'm scanning the intersection again looking for potential hazards, blockage. I see the bus up there. I see these cars. One car held on around a blinker. This car has on the blinker. I'm maintaining good speed, keeping good space. If you've seen my content before, and hopefully you have, you understand that we keep space. I call it speed, space, and smiles. And if my foot is off the gas, I'm just taking my time. I do see the brake lights, so I'm keeping space. A lot of beginning drivers will wait till the last second to break and they end up rearing the car. So I'm still slowing down, covering my brake, because if you slam on brakes hard, someone will slam on brakes and rear end you. I'm also looking at this car ahead of me. The rear right tire is very low. It could explode, it could have a flat tire. So I'm acutely aware of blowouts. I've had a few of those uh, in the vehicle before and we'll discuss that. So. We're getting on this connector ramp. 
and this will take us back into the country. So these are guide signs, they're green and white. There's a warning that there's a ramp. So you're gonna hear the motor pick up speed, I'm turning on my right turn signal. And then I need to get over to the left lane. And this is a really sharp curve. Uh, if I look down at the ramp, I could potentially fall off. So you're gonna feel me pick up, you're gonna hear the car. So listen for a second. Here's the blinker. So I'm looking for a gap or space. This is the acceleration ramp, building up speed. You can hear it in my voice. I'm looking over my shoulder. There's the acceleration. I get onto the first lane. Woo! Woo, I felt the rear of the car kind of rotate a little bit, hit that big bump. So now we're at 60 miles an hour. I'm in the right lane. Cars are really kind of on top of me. I want you to see that you can see cars behind me that are really on top of me right now. So I'm just taking my time. I want you to see how I look, how I check traffic. I'm always looking around, checking spaces, looking ahead, trying to stay safe as possible. So the right lane is the slow moving traffic. Minimum speed here is 55 miles an hour. We're at 60. The middle lane uh, from 55 to 65. The left lane 65 and up. Passing lane. Speed is good right now. I'm going to show you how to make a lane change in a moment. I'm looking for a gap. Here's my gap. That's the space. I'm looking over my right left shoulder. Three blinks. And that's pretty good. That's a quick, that's a really good blind spot check. So you see me kind of looking around. It's very active. I'm going to take you to the... Now, I don't like being behind this bike. I'm, I'm here to tell you. What if that thing falls off? I just have a bad feeling about that. But there's nothing that I could do right now. So I'm just going to keep my space. There's a Tesla over there. I want to do some content in that. So I'm maintaining good speed control. Middle lane is a smooth lane. Whoa, whoa. Sorry about that. A lot of wind noise out here right now. Everyone's driving nice and smooth. I'm going to go ahead and get over one lane to the right. I'm going to show you the mirror turn signal blind spot and then I cancel my blinker this is a pretty good view but now I'm gonna have to deal with cars merging on so a beginning driver would hesitate I'm gonna show you what they would do they would just hesitate and hesitate I'm looking for a blinker for this car no blinker that's confusing to me as a driver and lo and behold a beginning driver so what am I looking for in this car ahead of me? Um, are they up to speed? They seem to be hugging the right. So I'm wondering, are they distracted? Are they on the phone? Um, I'm just kind of stuck. I'm in the slow lane with this vehicle. I don't want to be in the middle lane with this bike. I'm not trusting they're not. I don't want to have a bike in my windshield, in my face. Oh, thank God they got over. So I'm going to try to get back over one lane to the left. So I'm going to show you the inside view. Okay. Check my blind spot mirror, turn signal. Man, that, that is a good blind spot check and lane change. If you're not getting anything, you're getting those lane changes, brother. Let me tell you, you're learning how to check those blind spots and do those lane changes. So we're on the curve right now. Um, I'm kind of holding the steering wheel firmly because the centrifugal force is pulling me out to the left. I'm going to show you kind of a slowdown. So you're going to see cars gradually tapping their brakes and gradually slowing down. I'm at about 65 miles an hour, speed limit of 70. Typical traffic uh, entering back into the country. Uh, we're going to see these uh, tunnels over here. They do uh, take a moment for your eyes to adjust. So I'm just gradually turning the wheel. Um, don't be scared. Here we go. I wanted you to hear that what it sounds like and in the winter time there's not sunlight there so I strongly suggest you listen right now I'm going over DMV prep test questions I always do this toward the middle um, what areas freeze first bridges freeze first because they're elevated and the cold air will blow on them and they will freeze first uh, we're going through another tunnel again listen and then we have another tunnel Brake lights pop on, but the 
against their automatic lights and it always kind of throws you off a little bit. Sorry I'm talking loud. That uh, that also I know it's, it's, it's a lot. So I'm maintaining good speed right now. Um, the left lane is the fast lane. I don't need to go 75 to 85. We're right at about 70 right now. Nice and smooth. Um, and you got to pick your lane. If you're going to be in the right lane, you're going to be cut off. Cars and trucks will cut you off, like you see cars cutting over. The two middle lanes are the smooth lanes. I'm in the middle fast lane, so I'm fine. As long as I can maintain about 70 miles an hour, no one's going to bother us or tailgate us. But if I lose my speed advantage, I'm going to be tailgated, get road ranged on, and no one wants that to really happen. So I'm maintaining good speed. It's all about uh, lifting your foot a little bit. A lot of beginning drivers will either be really hard on the gas. I'm lifting my foot a little bit, trying not to tailgate, keeping good space. Uh, you can't see what's behind me, but I see a lot of cars tailgating, cutting off, and people are in a hurry. And really, if you look at it, you'll arrive at your destination about the same time, but if you are in that left lane going 75, 85, 95, you're gonna get a ticket, and you might not arrive at all at your location because you're gonna end up dying. So it's not really worth it to get in that left lane because you're going to burn more fuel going at about the same pace. You're going to be at the same location at the same time. So if it's foggy outside, I'm giving you some DMV test tips right now. If it's foggy outside, what line do you look to? Do you look the line to the left or do you look at the line to the right? You look at the line to the right. That is your edge line or fog line. That will help you navigate through fog. Maintain a good speed, taking my time. You can look at the flow of the traffic. Everyone is pretty much driving at the same speed. And I'm just turning the wheel slightly, making small steering maneuvers. And I'm trying my best just to keep my speed even. And it does take practice. Uh, after a while, your foot and ankle and thigh do hurt, and your shoulders, if you're really tight and tense, that will hurt also. I'm going to switch views. Whoa, a car just cut in front of me. That caught, that caught me off guard, and you saw how big my face got. So now we're getting by another major uh, route to another part of the country, and cars will cut in front. Also, I see a huge traffic jam. I'm looking ahead literally as far as I can. So I am just increasing my following distance. Notice I'm using keywords increasing my following distance. I do not want to decrease my following distance because if I did, I would be tailgating. I want to uh, show you this view of this traffic. Okay, There's a lot of heavy traffic out here and you need to orient yourself. Slow moving traffic stays to the right the first two lanes. I'm in the middle of, oh, you see the brake lights pop on. So I'm going really easy, whoa. And I'm looking at a black truck behind me. You can't see my eyes look up, but that's what I'm doing. And that's the behavior I want to show you. That's the behavior that you need to do. You need to be looking around and identifying spaces, potential hazards. Uh, inside view right now, I'm looking, checking traffic, a car just, van just went past me. I'm seeing brake lights again, so I'm lifting my foot. You always have to adjust that throttle, okay? And you gotta be aware, you always have to think. A lot of students have attention deficit disorder, it's hard for them to focus, and I try to not overload them. I try to give them one element at a time. So let's talk about this. I'm a state certified instructor. I teach teens and adults. I'm giving you a driving tutorial with DMV test prep questions in the end to help you prepare. I got some great content coming. I just want to say thank you. And if this is helpful, give it a thumbs up. If you want me to do something specific, reach out to me. Bye guys. Subscribe.